How can the coronavirus reach the brain? An area in the body that is supposed to be highly protected. More and more research continues to reveal the dramatic effect that COVID-19 exerts on the central nervous system. Around 36% of COVID-19 patients show neurological symptoms. This opens a new question not only for the COVID-19 treatment, but also its long-term effect. The impact COVID-19 has on the brain is often overlooked due to the complicated diagnostics of medically unstable patients. However, in the case of brain infection, the coronavirus can lead to a number of neurologic symptoms like headaches, seizures, loss of control over body movement, and loss of vital senses such as taste and smell. Our brains are protected against viral and bacterial infections thanks to the blood-brain barrier, which is a thick natural border that separates the brain from the rest of the body. The border is made of cells that only let very small particles to pass through. However, severe inflammations that come with diseases like COVID-19 can destroy this barrier. Some viruses can even use inflammatory cells as Trojan horses to trick their way into the brain. The new coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, is thought to be one of them. Another possibility is that the cells that build the blood-brain barrier themselves get infected and then allow the virus to pass through this border into the brain. Brains of infected COVID-19 people show the presence of the virus in endothelial and urinal cells. The virus, however, can use other ways to travel to the central nervous system. One such way is accomplished through the exons, thread-like parts of the neurons that are found all over the body. Through these exons, the virus can potentially travel to the main part of neurons in the brain or spinal cord. Brain cells that are damaged release chemicals called biomarkers that can be found in the cerebrospinal fluid which is a colorless body fluid found in the brain and spinal cord. The presence of these biomarkers in the blood of COVID-19 patients, especially patients with severe cases, indicates that brain cells have been attacked and damaged by the coronavirus. Even the host's immune system can misdirect its attack when faced with a viral infection in the brain and damage the central nervous system. The brain is a fragile organ with most of its cells lacking the ability to regenerate. This means that the damage to the brain can be lasting and potentially lead to neurological disorders. In a recently published study, researchers used a brain model called BrainSphere made from specific stem cells to test whether SARS-CoV-2 can infect neurons. Three days after the infection, viral particles were found in the body of some brain cells indicating that infection has indeed occurred. The virus targets neurons because they have specific receptor called ACE2, which SARS-CoV-2 can recognize and use as a key to enter into brain cells. This is the same receptor that the virus utilizes to enter into other cells like lung cells, heart cells, kidney cells, and the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. Among other respiratory viruses that can invade the brain is influenza, a flu virus. Other coronaviruses have also previously shown to infect the brain in both animals and humans. Previously thought to be rare, viral infections of the brain can lead to brain inflammation, meningitis, and lasting neurological damage. These findings direct the attention to the current treatment of COVID-19 patients that largely overlook neurological symptoms. Between the challenge of identifying whether the brain has been infected and stable patients and the lack of direct treatment, diagnosing the brain infection in a timely manner could help us tackle such symptoms as early as possible. At the same time, these studies once again open the big question that has yet to be answered. What long-lasting traces will this pandemic leave on us?